so tired. I'm in the lounge right now in Shanghai, waiting for my flight to Korea. And yeah, I just had the worst flight. I got on the plane, I wasn't feeling too good anyway. Had some food, but my stomach was making some mad noises. And it was a little bit iffy, I can't lie. I'm like sweating, so like for like three, four hours straight, I'm like sweating, cold sweats, I'm like, I don't feel too good. I was sat in the middle, so like, there was an old lady next to me, and there was like an old lady on, on the left of me. An hour before the flight, I, I, I'm like ready to throw up. Like, the old lady, I need to get, I need to go. I jump over the old lady, as the, bear in mind, as the plane's landing, I jump over the old lady, the, uh, the stewardess gets up and goes to me, no, 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 like, you can't, you can't do this, the plane's landing, the plane's landing. I was like, bro, I'm about to throw up. Unless you want me to throw up on you and over these people, like, you're gonna need to let me go through. I managed to get to the lounge. I'm chilling in here for the next few hours. I'll give you a quick outfit breakdown. A brand called uh, Trent Vision. So it's just a joggers, jogger set. Got some slides as well. Cozy ting. I'm gonna get a drink, maybe like a... A sprite or something and see if I can't fucking settle my stomach. I'll see you man's in a bit. Good morning guys. I uh Yeah I didn't end up vlogging too much yesterday. We just uh we went out and then had some food and then everyone kinda of crashed back at the uh back of the yard but it's early in the morning it's about 30 right now yeah i'm just gonna go grab a coffee before we head out because nothing really opens here until like uh until like 10 a.m so make sure i'm right opposite my uh, airbnb it's called modo lab oh yeah, it looks pretty nice so yeah i'm gonna grab a coffee anyway. well that was an l how they uh I only do Americanos in there and I'm not looking to drink like jet fuel for breakfast so I'm going to try and find somewhere else Are you bored? Um, no, I don't know him. Mush, I just met mush him. Mush should have, mush should have shot behind me. I'm really. lying. Um, <laughs> yes, this is my brother. And that Titan up there? Wow, look at y'all. That's crazy. You are so handsome. Huh? You are so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> okay, we pulled up to this cafe, which is somewhere in Seoul. I don't know where the name is, but I'll tap it in on the on the screen. But yeah, it's like a waterfall, it's actually quite sick. Yeah, you look like you're hosting us, but you need to speak to Like we're your two foreign friends. Why is it Oh no, that's just why I'm so used to saying around the whole thing. Do you know how to do like green barbecue order? No. Like I never looked at it. We like the meat what? A lot? A lot, a lot. If you love the beef, then you can order the meat set. Mm -hmm. We have because I, I like waiting until uh until we actually have uh pause meats. Go by it's just a bunch of vegetables. It's kimchi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She sounded surprised, like you had a cold jet. <laughs> Are you an hot tea? It's crazy, it's hot tea. Oh, they have a DG, uh, DG2, DGI. Uh, that is the DGI Osmo, that company Osmo Pocket. Board. Another fantastic company, bro. They've mastered, like, making. I don't like being uncultured, bro. What's the kimchi saying? We're in a basement, there's no window. What, you mind's warm? You ordered a thing of like, uh, steaks. Yeah, yeah. Two bibimbabs and uh, some beef pancake. pancake. Some pancake, man. Oh, I already made it. Good. Amazing. 
the with those seasoning. But it's raw. <laughs> You're fucking crazy. Who's full of you for? Hey, shit. <laughs> I'm surprised like, uh, we don't have them in uh, America. What, robots? Yeah, they like uh, bring you the food robots in Russia. What was, what, what was the one we saw? We're at the store called uh, Kuru. Kuru? I don't know how to pronounce it. But some of the stuff's fire. And it looks like uh, it looks like Brick Owen's house. Some of their pieces are fire, bro. That's a large, I'm trying on a medium. Bro, I'm actually speechless right now. I've just got so many different pieces, but look at this sitting. These are like 80 pounds, I think. Like 100 bucks. Bro, if these were like Balenciaga or, or Acne, they were like 500. Living a teller and exterior chocolate mousse. Uh, I'm in a mirror, uh, cycle. I'm playing duck duck goose. Uh, give me a letter, uh, walk in my wardrobe. I bet you can choose uh, Cinderella, uh, Louis Vuitton, and I got shoes. Uh, I'm slanging forever when I'm putting it on. I can't lose. Now in Tokyo, I left Seoul this morning. Before I go to dinner, though, I'm gonna quickly go to Lawson and pick up a few snacks to stock up the fridge. I'm here for five days, so. Yeah, Lawson's gonna get slapped. Let me show you my fit real quick. This this whole fit, bar the shoes and the base layer is new. Um, I'll show you what brand it's from. It's from like an independent Korean brand called Cause. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the fit. If you guys can see that, so yeah, these are the pants. Like a super baggy fit. This, this size is actually a large. Um, yeah, they only had one pair left, so I didn't bother trying them with the smaller size, but I think the baggy ones sit pretty nicely. Even the better angle of the jacket. So the jacket here. So it reminds me of like a car one, but a little bit, but a bit more like detailed construction. Um, it's got like a, a corduroy. Um, it's got like a corduroy flannel. I absolutely love Tokyo. It's one of the few places that in the world that when I come to, I'm literally just like, I don't want to go, which is rare for me because I'm like a super homebody. I get really homesick like very quickly. But when I'm in Tokyo, like that homesick sickness low key kind of goes away. Speaking to my boy Jamai about Tokyo never having any bad angles. And bro, I'm literally not even in like the center of Tokyo. I'm like on a little bit on the outskirts. And bro, it's just fucking photogenic. Just taking some pictures. Let me show you my view right now. Bro. And this as well. Bro, I miss this shit. Do you know how convenient this is? Just having these around. And notice how none of them are vandalized. Bro, those vending machines would not last a day in London. Bro, let me rephrase that. That shit wouldn't last an hour in London. It would be gone. Sold for pots. Fuck's sake. Right. 
let me stop complaining and pre the map. It's a 10 minute walk from my yard, so. Just finished up at uh, Ring. They gave me like 300,000 yen for the two chrome pieces. Both of them were used, so I don't really care. I just wanted to get rid of them to not rewear them. This is literally my favorite thing. Like, you know, in Omoto Sando, like off the main strip, which is over down that way, when you come this way, like through these little alleyways, it has like the sickest like stores and layout. It has different shops and all these little nooks and crannies that you have to kind of go in to, to see.
whenever I come to Tokyo, there's always like really good interactions with people here. Like, like especially how with how I dress and like how I look in terms of like you know not being Japanese. There's like a really good culture here where people always want to speak to you and they want to get to know you. There's like a sense of community. Dude, that's something that London really lacks. Is, like if I'm in London and I'm in a coffee shop or I'm walking, no one will stop me and be like, oh, I like the way you're dressed or like what are you wearing or hi, what's your name? Like what do you do? Like I've seen like TikTok videos about people who have relocated to London and they always say that there's like a real lack of community here and like trying to find a group to like connect with is like really difficult. A lot of my my like friends that I grew up with, we all have the same issue. Like outside of our clique, it's really difficult to like make friends. Just because people just people are really closed off and I don't know why. Like it's just the way the culture is and I think it's a shame but not to put you off from like, coming to London. Like London is cool and it's like a really good place to eat. Loads of shopping you can do and like like if you're traveling there like you want to see it like cool but I don't know, that's just my rant for the day. Something I was thinking about. This place is so peaceful. I love it. But look where I am. On the side, like on the street. And like the restaurant I want to go to is down that way, in like an alleyway. Thank you.